Hey guys, Rolly out or Taylor here, and I'm back with another division video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about vendors and how I think they could be changed and improved. So we all know that there's a lot of vendors. They all sell gear, weapons, gear mods, and weapon attachments, obviously varying. I'd say a good chunk of my time I'm doing a vendor reset video, a lot of them are useless and don't offer anything worth picking up or anything very similar to what you already have. So in this video I want to put forward a few ideas and spark a bit of a discussion either in the comments below or over on my Twitter and you can follow my Twitter and it's simply at RXLYAT just like my YouTube so if you go over to there click the follow button and let me know you've come from this video then I'd love to hear your ideas as well as discuss the ones I'm going to put forward in this video. So starting with the dark zone so we can get it out of the way, I think there should be some sort of level cap introduced back into the vendors. Now this was in there up until I believe it was 1.3 possibly. You had to be a certain dark zone level to actually go in and buy the equipment, whether it is a weapon or a piece of gear from the vendors. And I can't quite remember off the top of my head what the requirements were, but I'm sure it is 25, 50, 75 and 90. It might need correcting on that, but yeah, we did have to be a a certain level to buy certain level gear. Sticking on the idea of dark zone vendors, I've heard the idea thrown around that making some things useful again in the dark zone. One of them could be division tech. Now it's hardly used anymore and, and the only thing it is used for is converting into crafting materials. So what if we had to also use division tech to buy that piece of gear you're after? So let's say a piece of gear costs 17,500 dark zone credits, we also had to trade in 12 division tech so obviously the numbers aren't accurate there but it just give us a reason to go out and farm division tech and just bring it to life a little bit more we could also make division tech a little less scarce so maybe every time you kill a rogue it drops an increased amount of division tech let's say somewhere between 6 and 12 so not only are we changing the vendors here we're also making rogue hunting a lot more interesting but I'm going to cut there before I get way too into the dark zone and changes I'd like to see. I'll leave that for another video and if you are even interested in hearing about that then let me know in the comments. Right now let's have a look and talk about the LZ vendors or the open world vendors. First thing I would love to see changed is a more of a rotation to the exotics that are sold within the special equipments vendor. Now one idea I roughly came up with was increase the price but make them rotate and flow through a lot more because at the moment we only have the six or so exotics that are sold there and the only thing that changes on them are the numbers and the talents. So why not have the whole exotic loot pool there but only sell between like two and four and obviously keep them rotating every week. We could also have some weeks the LZ vendors closed, so the ones in the safe house could only be open some weeks and the others closed. It would make less for us to go through, but have a better chance of improved gear within that. So for example, instead of let's say having 15 vendors open, we only have about seven, and these all sell a mixture of gear, gear mods and weapons, and even have the chance of them stocking an exotic. I also briefly spoke to Arex about the idea of having certain gear that you can only get from vendors and that they won't drop anywhere else during that week. So let's say we had a new batch of named gear and let's say the crypt safe house was selling it. It's the only place you'd be able to pick it up that week but it would cost you a fair bit. So instead of a little over 1000 phoenix credits but it could be bumped up to 5000 phoenix credits. It would make us go out and hunt for the vendor that is selling that one super rare piece. I guess you could compare it to how Destiny has Zer and that'll be in a random location within the world or however it is on Destiny and he sells only certain pieces of loot that you won't be able to get anywhere else and it is randomized. There is one more idea that I actually caught on Reddit. Now I can't find this post anywhere now unfortunately so if for some reason you are watching this then let me know that it was your idea. But this idea was roughly along the lines of to unlock the ability to buy a very rare piece of gear within one of the vendors, you'd have to do a side quest and it unlocked then three different pieces but you are only able to buy one. So it gives you a bit of a choice over what you're buying, whether it's a bad piece, a slightly better or a bit of in between. So kind of like a HVT, you go and select that vendor, he then gives you a mission to go and do and then once you come back, let's say you could even bring an item back and then you trade 
trade it in for the option to pick up one of the three rare pieces of gear that week. Now, like I said, that's not my idea. I'm pretty sure I saw it on Reddit, but I can't find the post anywhere now. So if you know who it was, then let me know and I will give credit to in the description. But yeah, guys, I can get way too carried away with this and I kind of want to keep the video structured. So we covered how Dark Zone could be done and some options for the LZ or the open world, whatever you're comfortable with calling it. But if you have any of your ideas, then like I've already said, either let me know in the comments below or come over to my Twitter and we can speak about them there. And I could always make a follow-up video featuring some of your guys' ideas if that's something you would like. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a little bit different, but I thought it'd be cool to give some of my feedback and how we could change some things on The Division. But if you did enjoy the video, then let me know either in the comments below or by clicking that like button. And if you're new around here and enjoy The Division content, then make sure you subscribe for all of the future content that is coming to this channel. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.